The question is posed to someone who is being unusually quiet from fear, guilt, embarrassment or just not knowing what to say. When mum finds a box of sweets unexpectedly empty, she might question her kid about it. And if he doesn't answer, she could ask him, has the cat got your tongue? Of course, it's not always the kid who remains silent after being naughty. It could be dad as well. Let me tell you about an interesting medical case. Some years ago, a 69-year-old lady developed a painfully swollen tongue that left her speechless. After various tests, her doctor detected a Pasteurella multicida infection that is caused by dog or, you guessed it, cat bites. And the dear old lady had a pet cat, making this the first reported medical case in history in which a cat literally got someone's tongue. Perhaps a similar case long ago led to the coining of the phrase, cat got your tongue? The more popular theory, however, is that the cat in the idiom is not a cat at all, but a whip. The cat o' nine tails is a many-tailed whip, often referred to in short as the cat. It was used for flogging sailors as formal punishment by the British Royal Navy. The cat was usually made of nine knotted cotton cords, though it could also be made of leather and tipped with metal barbs. It was designed to lacerate the skin, and it was possibly called a cat because the lacerations reminded people of cat's scratches. Though unlike a cat's scratches, the whipping caused so much pain, the sailor would be silenced from passing out or sometimes permanently when the flogging actually killed him. Two other explanations of the idiom involve actual cats, the ones imbued with magical or divine powers. Cats had divine status in ancient Egypt. If anyone lied, committed blasphemy, or just criticized the rulers, their tongues were cut off and fed to these godly cats. Food for thought for anyone planning to commit similar crimes. In the Middle Ages, Christians feared witches, their black cats, and their curses. Apparently, if you spied on a witch, her cat would use black magic to steal your tongue so you couldn't report what you had seen. An old French idiom, je donne ma langue au chat, literally means, I give my tongue to the cat. It is used in the way we say, I give up, when we don't know the answer to a riddle we've been asked. Perhaps this French phrase was the precursor to the English one. The oldest example in print of Cat Got Your Tongue is from an American newspaper called The Racine Democrat. It narrates an incident in which a certain person does not respond to another, and the latter remarks, Oh ho, the cat got your tongue, has it? I, on the other hand, talk so much, I would never get asked this question. I'm the English Nut. Bye for now. Like this content? Do subscribe, like, comment, share, tag your friends from one English nut to another. Thank you.